Okay. Drive 16, Confession, A Truth Revealed, Part A. Let's go. With Rinka and Momo. The final drive looks like. I'll tell you the truth of the island. The truth of Bikini? Why don't you we head somewhere else? It's gonna be a long story. Oh, and gather the rest of the VR class girls. I think you all have a right to hear this story. We're about to get some truth. What about uh, Manpu Kumaru? She's a student too. She deserves to hear it. I said I'd tell you, but are you really sure you want to hear it? Might be better that you don't know. No, we need to know. That's why Etch has been hiding it all this time. Yeah, let's find out. Okay, so ready yourselves. First, about the girls you've been seeing coming out of the Four Pillar Gods. Your suspicions are correct, folks. Those are students who have graduated. I knew they were alumni. Guess you were right. But why would there be alumni instead of the Four Pillar Gods? Doesn't graduation mean getting fully cured? Wouldn't that mean they have no more reason to stay on the island? Graduating means getting taken into a four pillar god. What? That way they can live on in an eternal sleep. Yeah, that's the fate of the Valkyries that arrive on this island. You derailed the story again. Eternal time is just a thing in manga and sci-fi novels, isn't it? Sis said those girls were Valkyries too, but there's no evidence of that, is there? Oh, Rinka, you notice these girls are Valkyries? Yeah, they had the same eyes as us after all. I should have expected that from you. You really do have some exceptional qualities. You flatter me. It does make me a little happy, though. You girls saw the moment some girls came out of the Four Pillar Gods' bodies, right? Yeah, it's still hard to believe. Then it's simple to prove, isn't it? The girls can't be anything but Valkyries. Would you understand if I said the girl, the girls had been turned into the four pillar gods' parts, so breaking the armor turned them back to normal? You girls should be familiar with quite f familiar, similar phenomena, shouldn't you? Exactly. The alumni are taken to the four pillar gods' bodies through drives. You've witnessed the exact moment where a pillar god has taken damage undoing a drive. Only Valkyries can be taken into a Pillar God's body. So now that I explained all the phenomena of the girls coming out of the four Pillar God's bodies, you now understand that those girls are uh, alumni. One small question. The four Pillar Gods are using drives 24-7 even while they sleep. Yep, I don't believe it. They've had to work themselves to the bone to pull it off. Plus, they've had some necessary modifications made. Anything from Sarmath... Pharma, psychotherapy to biological transplant, cybernetic skeletal substitutes, and expansion, genetic engineering, you name it. Each one is a product of flawless design, their talent is a Valkyrie, and their resolve is an individual. I don't mind telling you, but I'm sure it won't mean anything to you. Sure, you won't be able to handle the truth. But if, and that's a big if, if you girls have more resolve than Etch did, then go see the director. You mean the director's the puppet master or something? But let me just tell you this. Even after you hear what the director says, you'll definitely won't agree with it. The director won't listen to anything you girls have to say either. There'll be no room for negotiation. You girls will make enemies of all of the Hikini. 
いくらなんでもえっちゃんは最初に聞いてえっちゃんの言う通りだよそうだったな話してくれてあり君たちがどんな選択をしてもあっ人好きなシャープオープン Here's you don't understand. You want to get the director mad at you? Just want to know the truth, that's all. The truth of the Hikini is most likely a taboo subject that you should never raise here. Simply asking the director about the truth could be seen as an act of hostility. In the worst case, just asking the director could have to expelled from the island for all we know. Okay. Well, she's not going to go. We have no idea what will happen. We should put all, shouldn't put all our eggs in one basket. Someone needs to relay Ichigoya's story. You have to summarize Ichigoya's story in three lines. Oh, thanks. In no circumstance are you getting anywhere near the director. Well, that's gonna be fun. Okay. Okay. So she's gonna fight us. Basically, what's about to happen here? We're gonna get into a fight, a scrap, a thing. Let's get going. Come on. Oh man, we only have two more chapters of this after this one. Maybe we'll actually learn what's going on here. Maybe for once we'll actually learn everything about this game. What makes it interesting? Good, there we go. Okay. Go this way in here, I guess. Come on. They're just really weak. Oh, it's because we have all that extra, like, experience and everything from all the story missions and whatnot. Don't 
don't try to attack me. It won't turn out good for you. Up you go. Down you go. Down you go, and up you go. How many more of these are there? Do we still have to just stay in here until this is over? Let us out. Come on. Let us out, please. There should be all of them. There it is. Okay. Cool. Oh, there it is. There's one of them. That's number two. Okay. That's part two. There's a part below us then. More than likely. Let's just get to this fight already. Up we go. Up we go. Down you go. Please be under us. Up we go. Up we go. Up we go. Stun lock him, stun lock him. Phantom strike, come on. Of course they went for drive. Of course they went for drive. Wouldn't, wouldn't they? Guess what happens if you stun lock, though? Nothing goes good for you.
I didn't even go drive. I beat them without drive. Look at that. Beat them without drive. 6 minutes 40. Really? Still didn't get that last little damage modifier. Just, just enough. Just enough. Still gonna be S. I don't think I'm ever gonna get SS on this thing. Yeah, that sure is annoying. It's not like I'm challenging you for just the hell of it. We didn't even use any drive. We didn't get damaged at all. Wow. Okay. 